Hello and welcome again to another uh, session on Selenium web driver. Today I am going to show you how to write a custom method using Selenium web driver. We have three kinds of uh, wait methods in Selenium. First one is the thread dot sleep which is not recommended. Uh, the second one is the implicit wait and the third one is the explicit wait. There is another one called the fluent wait which I have already discussed in my prior video. So today I am going to show you how to use, uh, here I am using thread.sleep but in a different fashion. So uh, this one you can use uh, whenever you need uh, to write your own wait methods. So uh, I will take the same example, the Gmail where you are uh, entering the username first, clicking on the next button and then you are uh, entering the password. So let's look at the code. Here I have a default package in which I have created custom wait.java which is which has my main method and there is another uh, class that is my wait.java which is called from inside of custom wait. So let's have a look at custom wait first. So let me expand the screen. So this is a very simple uh, program. It has a, a main method and in that main method I have a, taken a web driver wait uh, this web driver wait is no longer required uh, though you can uh, let let's keep it for the time being uh, then there is a boolean check which i have set to false i have uh, initialized the driver over here opening a new chrome driver instance and then i am uh, initializing the wait to uh, uh, this new web driver wait Mm, then I am uh, getting the gmail.com website and then I am finding the email uh, element and entering Chobul Pinakin inside it. Uh, then I am clicking on the next button and further down the line I am clicking the pass uh, uh, entering XYZ in the password field. Let's have a look at what happens when you uh, write such kind of code. Let's run this code. It's opening the browser session now. Going to gmail.com, it has entered the email. And oh, did you notice that uh, instead of entering the password after going to the next screen, it uh, just uh, gave an exception. Now, this exception is coming because of timeout. And uh, it before finding uh, this uh, password it is not finding because selenium is very quick it uh, tries to execute this line this particular line over here it tries to execute this line uh, within a split second and it does not find the password because it takes some time after clicking the next button to go to the next screen where the password field is located so let's have a look at how to overcome this issue with uh, a custom wait method. Now what I have done over here, uh, I have commented these two lines where I am uh, declaring a boolean variable uh, element where uh, it, it gets the return value from my wait dot check visibility dot driver. Let's have a look at what check visibility is. So control and if you press control and hover over here you will get this and uh, just open implementation so you go to this uh, class myweight.java and there you will find this method public static boolean check visibility where i am passing the driver instance and it is throwing interrupted exception since i am using thread.sleep over here uh, it uh, throws the interrupted exception you have to throw this otherwise the program will not run then here i am again declaring the uh, boolean variable called test and I'm setting it to false and while this boolean variable test is equal to false I am uh, trying to find the password element and I have put this uh, code for finding the password uh, text box in a try block so that even if it does not find the password uh, text box it will not fail it will not give an exception then after declaring the web element I am checking whether the element is displayed if it is displayed I am displaying this uh, out.println statement and then I am setting the test uh, 
variable to true and i am returning true so that uh, it goes to the main method in the else block i am sleeping for 2 seconds so i am utilizing the thread dot sleep in a different manner i am not depending on thread dot sleep but i am just utilizing it to wait for a known number of seconds here you can also use implicit wait though and here also i am displaying a system dot out dot print ln in else block and i am uh, giving the value of test in the catch block i am printing in catch block and i am again displaying the value of test and finally at the end of this method i am returning the test uh, variable back to the main main method so i will save this and we will run it and see how it works it should enter x y z in the password field let's try it out so it's running it has started the browser session and now it will navigate to gmail.com there you go it has entered chobal pinakin and it has entered xyz in the password it did not fail this time did you see and let's have a look at the output it says in catch block false and in if block false so uh, let's go to the code uh, in if block false so when will it take the value of false it is printing this value in if block and the value of test is false so it keeps on looping this till it finds a value of true and it does not fail till that time and it has gone to the catch block also since it did not find the element it goes to the catch block and it does not throw an exception so we get two uh, here stating that in catch block and in if block so this is how uh, it works and the system will work fine if you use this kind of code so thank you so much for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet and wait for more videos to come thank you keep learning keep watching bye bye